advances in medicine are improving our lives almost every day. One of the most exciting developments is the use of stem cell. Guess who's here? It's Dr. Phil Johnson of Innovations Medical Center to, to talk to us about the stem cell and all the great things that it's working for for our patients right here in North Texas. So thank you for being here. All right, good morning. And what, my favorite thing about you when you come on is that you make it easy for us to understand. So you've brought a cool way to illustrate how they are so unique. Well, stem cells are, are important because of the two things they can do. For one, if this is a stem cell, most of the cells in our body can't make new copies, but stem cells can. So if I have a stem cell and we stimulate it properly, it can make just about as many copies as we want so that one cell can become a large number of cells. And that's really important to us as we're gonna use them therapeutically. Now, the other thing they can do though, when they're properly stimulated, if this is a stem cell from fat, it can become a cartilage cell. So it's actually capable of making new cartilage. Or it could become a lung cell. And it's actually capable of making new cells in the lungs as well. It can even become a nerve cell. And all these things have been shown to happen. So each, so the fat cells can become each of the other types of cells that we need to heal our bodies in disease. What a great way to explain. I love it when you bring some toys on, but that definitely makes it easier. How, how can we actually get these stem cells? Well, there are many ways. And what we're talking about today, Alana, is adult stem cells, stem cells that we get from you, not stem cells from embryos, not stem cells even from cord blood, but, stem, but your own cells that we get. And it really, many tissues we can go to, but the two that are used by far the most commonly are bone marrow and fat. Okay, and you actually prefer fat over bone marrow? Well, there's advantages to, to fat over bone marrow. Most studies show that all, both fat cells and bone marrow cells can become any of the cells we need, but fat's a little bit easier to harvest. But most importantly, in a really good harvest with bone marrow, I can get about 60,000 stem cells. With a good harvest on fat, I can get between 100 million, 25 to 100 million stem cells. So 60,000 versus 60 million is a thousand fold difference. And that really enhances our ability to make a difference in the body. So we know where you're pulling stem cells from. How do you use them? What's next? Well, one of the things, we, we can use them depending upon what we're treating. So okay. if we're treating someone with a bad knee, we give some of the cells into the knee and we give some of the cells IV. If we're treating someone with a lung condition like chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, we'll give some IV and have them inhale some. We're also, what's really the cutting edge is we're learning that you have to tell these cells to turn on. And so we're starting to do things to help turn the cells on and tell them what to do when they get there. Speaking of, how, how do they know where to go and what to do? Well, these stem cells are just hanging out most of the time. They have to have a reason to turn on. And what happens is when a tissue, when a tissue is damaged or a cell is injured, it releases growth factors and it looks works just like this magnet and it can attract the stem cells together. And then once they're there, the same growth factors tell them what kind of cells to become and what the area needs. So that's why it's becoming increasingly important as we improve our understanding, we're trying more and more to get the cells to activate and do what we want them to do. You know, and it is doing great things. Earlier you mentioned your knees or even your lungs, but what, what is it helping? What kind of disorders? Well, osteoarthritis is probably the, the most commonly used, but, and sports injuries, very, co very popular in sports injuries. We're actually doing our own study on COPD, but there's been a lot of work on neurologic conditions like neuropathy and multiple sclerosis. There's uh, lots of urinary conditions like uh, ir ir um, erectile dysfunction and okay. a lot of mus neuromuscular problems. All right, well, I know we're only skimming the surface here on GMT, and so obviously if you have some more questions, I'm going to leave everybody with some more information. And this is something I know you're very, very excited about because of all the good that stem cells are doing. Here's the number. It's 214-669-6948 for more information about stem cell therapy. Also, I definitely recommend heading over to his website. It's innovationstemcellcenter.com for more.